Moving on now, the next in the series of containers is this crystal decanter stopper. It could um, be daunting, really, the prospect of painting that. Very complicated looking. Again, the importance of getting your line drawing drawn in properly. I can't stress enough to you how important that is. It just makes it so much easier. More or less now, what I'm going to be doing is going over these lines, but in colour. Because I've drawn them really carefully and accurately to start off with, it's just a matter of looking as I'm going, making sure I'm actually on the right lines, but pretty much working over the drawing that's already in. So that's what I'm going to start off doing, just with uh, indigo blue. I'm using Prismacolors on Bristol board. It is, it is quite time consuming, that's the only thing, cause it's, you need to be quite accurate about where you're making your marks. Like I say, because it's all already on there, the hard work's been done. The lines are there to follow. I'm just going to work on half of it, just because time it does take quite a long time to work something as intricate as this. And just like with the metal jug, <clears throat> if you look at it for too long of a period in one go, you can start, your eye can start tricking you onto which line you're on. It's, it's important sometimes to have a little break from it and come back. Sometimes when you do drawing in, you'll put a graphite line where, you, where it's a section of importance, but it could be where there's supposed to be a pale line, which is what I've done there. So you tend to find you're working with an eraser nearly as much as your pencil. Because largely it's the same colour that I'm using, the same colour is appearing in this area of the stopper. I'm just working with varying pressure as I go along. So where there's a hard line, I'm pressing on a bit harder and where it's paler, I'm just using less pressure. It's going to be important for me keeping my pencil really sharp. Some of these lines are so fine. When, you, when you're working, like I said, <clears throat> it's really easy to 
stare at it so long you kind of forget what you're looking at. So I try and see other things in the shapes I'm working on, so like just as so I've got reference points between the photograph and what I'm working on. So like this little area here looks a little bit like a seahorse with a long tail. So kind of if I get stuck and lost about where I am, I just think, oh, it's so it's quite near the seahorse. And just working that way, breaking it down into smaller little sections. You know, so there's a big square bit there. Just gives you little reference points when it all starts looking a bit the same. So I'm just going to carry on in exactly the same way, just looking really carefully at the photograph and then at the lines I've put already on here and just making sense of it all, translating it over. I'm just going to use the indigo blue and I'm going to work my way to the midpoint and then uh, we'll start putting some other colours on top and, and just adding colours into the, the reflections. <laughs> doing the basic outline in indigo blue. Uh, now I'm going to start going over some of the really dark areas with a purple and a red just to bring them down to the correct tone and then adding some of the colours in the highlights. So now that initial drawing is in I've stood back from it and I've noticed that there's areas that I want to bring a bit lighter. I'm just going to take my eraser and just lighten some of these out, this pencil work off this front section where the main light is hitting it. I'm just going to gem the light, bring up lighter. 
but pretty much that's the hard work done. Now all I need to do is take off the blue, complete blue tone, because obviously there's lots of different colours happening here. Make the really dark areas darker by put, laying over some purple and some red, perhaps a touch of brown, and then putting these coloured reflections in that are reflected from these lovely metallic pearls. I'm going to start off with purple and go on my darkest areas. So I'm literally just colouring over the shapes I've already drawn. A few areas of these, the shading, I'm going to add a touch of purple as well. I'm not really changing it by much, but it's really making the light areas stand out. And now I'm just going to add some of these colours in the reflections. I'm going to start off with this kind of buff colour, just here. Oops, I've noticed a missing line. That'll happen when you've stared at lines so long, there's bound to be some you miss.
and then some tiny dots of yellow I can see. Lilac. I'm just going to go over some of the purple and blue areas with red just to bring it down even more. Make it even darker. is warm grey. Actually I'm going to switch to cool grey I think. I'm just going back to me to go blue. I'm just going to take a squinting look at it. Just make sure there's no areas tonally I've missed up here. It could do with a bit more. together I think I'm quite happy with how that's come out. So there really wasn't that much else to do once the the uh, basic lines were in. There's hardly any other colour really in there. Just tiny bits of reflection. It's all worth it in the end. Thank you. 